All right, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being the Heavenly Father's Son. And I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders who rule well. And salutations and honor to you hopeful elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. <clears throat> Slaki for, 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 uh, for my cranky voice. I just got off work. Um, it's the morning time. Uh, yeah, one of the reasons. So this, so this brother from uh, Yahushai is coming back. Um, posted, our goatee cafe has gone cashless. All right, and I'm gonna post this video in the description. I'm gonna post a link to this video in the description. But one of the reasons why a lot of these small businesses are, are going cashless is because it's lucky. It's because um, Visa is going to war against uh, 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 a cash, is, is, you know, is uh, basically going to war against cash. And I'm going to bring out this article, Fedification. Visa looking to help small businesses go cashless. Hmm. Visa looking to help small businesses go cashless. You see the date? So this is recently. All right, slog you. New York Visa is looking to push more small businesses into updating their digital payment technology, offering up to $10,000 each to 50 U.S.-based small business owners that are committed to going cashless. The program will focus on restaurants and food establishments, Visa said Wednesday, with the Continuing on. Expectation that Visa will expand the program in the coming months and years to other industries and possibly other countries as well. Despite the proliferation of credit and debt cards as well as the advent of technologies such as Apple Pay and Samsung Pay, cash remains a significant method of payment in many industries across the United States and around the world. Going completely cashless often requires upgrades to current point-of-sale systems, which remains an impediment for many small businesses, which is largely where cash remains king. We are declaring war on cash, said Andy Gerlt, A. Right. They're going to war on cash. Spokesman for Visa. Spokesman for Visa. To participate in Visa Inc.'s cashless challenge, small business restaurants, cafes, or food truck owners will need to describe what cashless means for them, their employees, and customers. Visa isn't doing this for charity. The world's largest processor of credit and debit cards takes a fee from every payment that runs on its network. The more payments. Search the trip. Search. Home. Local. Sports. News. Opinion. A&E. Lifestyles. Video. Obituaries. Subscribe. Place AD. By Trib Photos. S-P-O-R-T-S-T-A-L-K. Contests. Dash 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 dash. Jobs. Homes. Autos. Classifieds. Dash 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 dash. Trib Total Media. Contact US. Feedback. Blogs. Email newsletters. At Trib Digital Replica. Our publications. The features. By Trib Photos. Where to buy the paper. Business headlines. Visa looking to help small businesses go cashless. The Associated Press, Saturday, July 15, 2017, 9 p.m. New York Visa is looking to push more small businesses into updating their digital payment technology, offering up to $10,000 each to 50 U.S.-based small business owners that are committed to going cashless. The program will focus on restaurants and food establishments, Visa said Wednesday, with the expectation that Visa will expand the program in the coming months and years to other industries and possibly other countries as well. Despite the proliferation of credit and debt cards as well as the advent of technologies s. Competitive but would rather have cash, he says. 
Visa argues that the benefits of going cashless can outweigh the costs for handling cash, which requires more intensive bookkeeping, physical transportation of cash, etc. Visa also argues that consumers prefer to use their cards as well. Businesses that receive the award can use the $10,000 toward upgrading their point-of-sale system so they are completely cashless. If there is spare money left over, the business owner can use the money toward marketing or other efforts to promote their small businesses, Girl said. All right. And that was just the article right there. You know? And uh, basically, they're pushing this... Uh, it's a cashless society, so it can get closer and closer to implementing this mark of the beast, this RFID chip, which is our mark mark of the beast, you know. And uh, with that, uh, giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Shalom.